Sincerely confession how Duke rejected move to South Africa with Meghan Markle. Prince Harry rejected the idea of moving to live in South Africa with Meghan Markle because it would be very hard, an oath reports reveal. Harry and Meghan sent trout waves to the royal circle this week when the two youth leaders of the Queen's Commonwealth stressed that the association needs to address its uncomfortable past with Kanali Lossim but claimed their comments were inappropriate, especially as they have moved to Los Angeles in the U.S., far away from any Commonwealth country. Once reported of a rift between Prince William and Kate Middleton began to emerge last year, so did speculation that the Sussexes could be planning to move abroad to be closer with their Commonwealth work, especially as both has signally great interest in it. In the past, Harry has referred to Africa as his second home, and he even escaped there after the traumatic death of his mother, Princess Diana, with Prince Charles and Prince William in 1997. He then spent his 2004 gap year in Lesotho, and later founded his charity Seto Bale with their country's Prince Lesotho. Harry and Meghan are also thought to have fallen in love during a trip to Botswana in 2016. Yet speaking to Tom Bradby during 2019 ITV documentary, Harry and Meghan, an African journey, the Duke of Sussex explained why he felt the couple would not settle in Africa. He said, I don't know where we could live in Africa at the moment. We just come from Cape Town. That would be an amazing place for us to be able to base ourselves. Of course it would. However, he pointed out that there were issues with living in the Commonwealth nation of South Africa. He said, with all the problems that we are going on there, I just don't see how we would be able to make as much different as we want to without the issues and the judgment of how we would with those surroundings. Harry continued, it's a very hard place to live when you know what's going on, but then you're sort of slightly disconnected from it. So there's the rest of our lives, our lives work will be predominantly focused on Africa, on conservation. There are 19 Commonwealth countries across this continent, so there's a lot of things to be done, but there's also huge potential. Speculation that the Duke and Duchess could relocate to Africa began in April 2019. A close confidant of both Harry and Prince William told the Sunday Times, it wouldn't surprise me if Harry and Meghan moved abroad. There have been various ideas floated for them to take on a job abroad, such as Governor General of Australia or Canada. However, those ideas were rejected, as Meghan had already spent seven years living in Toronto, and some in the palace thought Canada was too close to the U.S. They could not take on roles as governor generals either because they would set them up as king and queen of a whole separate country. Speculation that the Duke and Duchess could relocate to Africa began in April 2019. A close confidant of both Harry and Prince William told the Sunday Times, it wouldn't surprise me if Harry and Meghan moved abroad. There have been various ideas floated for them to take on a job abroad, such as Governor General of Australia or Canada. However, those ideas were rejected, as Meghan had already spent seven years living in Toronto and some in the palace thought Canada was too close to the US. They could not take on the roles as Governor Generals either because they would set them up as King and Queen of the whole separate country. No decision have been taken about future roles. The Duke will continue to fulfill his role as Commonwealth Youth Ambassador. Many sources have claimed that the shared interest in being global humanitarians is what that drew the couple together in the first place. When the Sussexes announced their plan to step back as the senior royals, fans assumed they would set up permanent residence in Canada. Being a Commonwealth nation, it would still have connection to the UK and allow them to continue their roles within the trust. Yet they moved to LA earlier this year, largely because they did not want to pay two types of tax. Canada would not pay for their security and they wanted to be nearer to Megan's support network. A confident of uh, Harry's even predicted the shock move in 2019 when speaking to the Sunday Times. They said more and more friends are worried that they would just get on plane and live in LA and never come back.